Hey guys, dude it's Devin here bringing you another Knights of the Old Republic video. We're going to look at the dueling arena on Terrace on the hard difficulty when the player character stays level 2. This is important because if you stay at level 2 on Terrace instead of leveling up, when you get to Dantooine, you can get extra Jedi levels. Many people enjoy doing this, but finishing the dueling arena can be a little challenging. I choose to wait until I've completed Terrace before finishing the dueling arena. Although my character won't be leveling up, I will be collecting better equipment along the way. I save all the grenades that I find, including the plasmas and the poisons. The most important are going to be the concussion grenades. These can actually be bought by a vendor just outside of your hideout. Zelka at the clinic will also sell stimulants if you didn't intimidate him and force him to shut you out of his store. This video is kind of long. I included all the content for cinematic purposes. If you're interested in skipping ahead to a specific duel, I'm going to add timestamps in the description. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time, he's after fresh meat. In this corner, I give you Jedi Duncan. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name, the mysterious stranger. You could beat Deadeye Duncan with your eyes closed. Don't stress this one. Just equip a vibroblade and start hacking away. Trust me, he'll fall down sooner than later. It's over! The fight is over! The mysterious stranger has won! But really, are any of us surprised? Deadeye losing, is it you? You have to do better than that to impress us, stranger! These are the stats for my level 2 scout. And I'm playing on the difficult setting. I'm using the Ichani fiber armor, upgraded for 20 resistance versus cold and fire. Also have the prototype vibroblade equipped and upgraded. I think I have a dexterity gloves, power belt, pretty much the best gear that you find along the way. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. In this corner, one of the greats, a man so tough, even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> I give you Gerlon Two Fingers. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene. Emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name, the mysterious stranger! Gerlon Two Fingers is also pretty easy. We're going to go ahead and pop a couple of stimulants to increase our dexterity, our constitution, and our strength. This is going to help us get a little bit of an edge 
so that we can get our hit in quick. Just run up there with a vibro blade. It's gonna be the best approach. It's over! The fight is over! The mysterious stranger has won! Gerlon losing to a rookie! Is this a sign that his injuries have finally caught up with him? Or is the mysterious stranger for real? Only time will tell! What can I do? Yes? Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. Over in this corner, a woman with steel on her bones and ice water in her veins. She's cold and quick as death itself. You know her. You love her. Ice. And in the other corner, a rising star taking that first step into the big leagues. I give you the mysterious stranger. Ice can be a little bit challenging. We're going to use our stimulants again to increase our dexterity, constitution, and strength. And melee's the way to go. Still, we want to rush and try to get our hits in as soon as possible. She still has a blaster out, but we'll pull out a melee weapon. And it doesn't take much for us to die, so we want to try and take her out before she hits us. It's over! The fight is over! The mysterious stranger has won! Ice is knocked out cold! Looks like we have a rising star in the mysterious stranger, folks. But how high can this star soar? You'll just have to watch and see. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. He's a legend in the sport, a 20-year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids a trick or two. Let's have a big hand for Marl. But there's always some young gun coming up to knock the veterans off. And we've got one of the best right here. I give you a mysterious stranger. Marl is the most difficult opponent, in my opinion. Even more difficult than Bendak Starkiller. But there's a little trick that we can use to cheese our way through this. Instead of going melee, we're going to equip our best blaster pistol. And in this case, it's Karth's blaster. And uh, we're, we're still going to pop our stimulants. This is going to help us, especially with the dexterity boost. Um, the stamina isn't going to help as much because if we get hit, we'll be dead. But the strength will help a little bit for our damage modifier. We 
We want to shoot him before he gets to us. And as he's approaching us, be very careful. Again, he uses melee and can chop us down in one go. It's really difficult to stand up here. It's not possible. So you just run away. And then pause. And we'll get a shot off. Just one little shot. Keep pausing, tap that pause button, and turn around, get ready to book it. Okay, then we're gonna turn around again. We're gonna get another shot off. We gotta be careful, because he's coming. And we don't wanna get sliced. It only takes one. Run away again, create the distance. When he gets close, you'll see he, he gets into stance. There's a, a half a second, I wouldn't even say it's that long, where he'll start to get into a stance, but you need to be very careful and not be too greedy about how many blaster shots you get off. You can see his damage is going down, his health is going down. I, I am hitting him. I don't always wait to see that damage before I run away. I just want to see the blaster bullet leave the gun a couple of times, once, twice maybe. And then I book it. Now right now I'm only using the attack. But what I realize is I, I could be using rapid shot. And that's going to give me two opportunities to hit him. Because he is really hard to hit. And if you watched my Rancor video before, you'll know that here we're kind of banking on 20s again. We've increased our dexterity, but we're only level two and our stats aren't that great. This scout is gonna be going in the strength direction. So right now we're just getting lucky, whittling down the damage. We're gonna keep this up. We're over halfway done hasn't hit us, but again, it only takes once. And yeah, this is kind of cheap, but if we were leveling up, we'd probably have a more fair fight. We're only level two, and we want to continue with this dueling quest, and this is, uh, this is the way to do it. Is 
waiting in the wings. Do you dare take a shot at the champion himself? Will the Wild Eye Wonder finally be unseated? I'm here. Sure. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. Hold on to your seats and stay back from the edges of the ring. He's wild, he's unpredictable, he's borderline psychotic. And he's the best damn duelist in the game today. Give it up for Twitch. But Twitch's opponent plans to take a champion down. Night after night, battle after battle, we've watched this young phenom rise to the ranks. In this corner, the challenger for the title of Taris Dueling Champion, the Mysterious Stranger. Compared to our previous opponent, Marl, and our next opponent, Bendak, Twitch is actually not that difficult. We're going to use a similar approach that we do with Bendak in that we're going to be throwing grenades. In addition to using stimulants, we're also going to activate our energy shield. This is going to help against blaster fire. We're going to try to use a concussion grenade before it comes to that, but it's still a good idea to activate that first. It is important to note that you can use multiple items in the menu before combat starts. But once the combat starts, using those items will consume one of your attack rounds. Here we can see all of the grenades at our disposal. The concussion grenade is going to be our best friend. I probably should have bought more. If you don't have enough credits to buy grenades, or you just don't want to spend your credits on those grenades, you could consider using the item duplication glitch that I shared in a previous video to duplicate your most expensive item and sell it for credits. It's a way to get rich quick. The tactic is pretty straightforward. We're gonna use a concussion grenade first and hope that it actually stuns our opponent. This will give us two free rounds to continue attacking, and then on the third round, we can try to stun them again. Notice that I was trying to remove the normal attack for my attack queue, but I must have had it selected by default or not pressed pause in time. So that round, I actually shot my blaster, which was not desirable. We 
do get shot each round that he is no longer stunned. So that does highlight the importance of the energy shield as I was taking damage. But I still have enough to survive. It's over! The fight is over! The mysterious stranger has won! Twitch's reign of terror is over, ladies and gentlemen! We have a new champion, the mysterious stranger! Yes? What? show you what it's like to do battle against a real champion, but I only fight in death matches. And not too many people are willing to step into the ring knowing they won't ever come out. How about you, stranger? You think you got what it takes? So you're the one doing Zax's dirty work. Well, I've got some bad news for you, little bounty hunter. There's no way you're bringing me in. This cantina is wired with a top-level security grid. You pull a weapon on me and the auto-fire turrets will fry you before you can even pull the trigger. <laughs> Why would I ever want to leave here? I've got food and drinks, place to stay, and everybody treats me with the respect I've earned for my dueling career. But if you're set on collecting that bounty, I'll make you a deal. I kind of miss the fight game. My hand is itching for the feel of a blaster in my grip. I've seen you in the duel ring. You're just good enough to spark my interest. So I'll agree to face you in a death match. You win, you get to collect that bounty for killing me. Finally, fresh meat. Azure will set it up. Go talk to him. It will take some time to arrange, so no point sticking around here until then. I'll be back when it's time for you to die. Just 
Ladies and gentlemen, come with me now on a journey to the savage days of years gone by, to a time when two combatants entered the arena and only one came out alive. They're illegal. They're banned. They've been outlawed for nearly ten years, but we've got one for you tonight. A good old-fashioned death match in this corner. A living legend. A man whose very name would make his opponents shake in their boots. If any of them were still alive. <laughs> Out of retirement for one last battle. Bandit Star Killer. And who would be crazy enough to step into the ring with such a lethal legend? Who would be mad enough to face almost certain death merely for your enjoyment? Ladies and gentlemen, feast your wondering eyes on the mysterious stranger. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Let the death match begin! We are going to do this celebrity death match style. No, really, we're going to be throwing grenades. But it's important that we boost up the same way as before by using all of our stimulants. We're going to pop an energy shield. I'm actually going to use the best stimulants I've got. The strategy here is very similar to the previous battle. But the difference is our opponent is not just going to stand there and shoot us with a blaster. He's also going to be throwing grenades. So... Again, just a peek to show that I'm doing this on the difficult setting. Another quick shot at the stats here and the current equipment that I've, I'm using. But most of this is going to be based on tactic. First thing I do is move over because he's going to throw a grenade off the bat. I don't want to throw a grenade first because I would have blown up to his grenade. I move and then throw a grenade. And then I move again. And I noticed that that grenade worked. So now that he's stunned, I want to use a poison grenade. And plasma grenades. All of my best grenades. And I know that after I throw two grenades, he's not going to be stunned anymore. So I need to be ready for that. As soon as he's no longer stunned, he's going to start throwing grenades again. So right now I've got him on fire looking and, and as he gets unstunned you'll see his arm is moving so it's time to move it's time to go he's about to throw oh i just kind of dip pause again the pressing grenade won't work every time so we have to watch and see if he's stunned before continuing on with the more damage. This time, we get the stun. But notice he also hit us with a pretty big blaster shot. Again, highlighting the importance of using the energy shield. All 
I was not happy about being locked into throwing that plasma grenade. He had already come out of his stun, and I should have thrown a concussion grenade to stun him again. We are the champions. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you again in the next one.